We are out on the Tamahee property. This is an area that's being logged right now. They're logging again on the other side over there too. They just cut a road in. Flew my drone over there and had a look. So this road recently cut through here and they cut through mineralization starting right here, going all the way down to the edge of the road where it connects to the main road. So as you can see, silicus rock here and you have no mineralization. Move over to about right here where these two rocks contact right here and right here. So your contact is right here. You got the introduction of quartz and sulfides as well as sulfides in your host rock, which is a silicous rock. Occasionally you'll see chert. You see this here. This is a massive sulfide lens running just over top of this contact here. can see it's very, very rusty. I'm going to break some pieces off and we'll take a quick sample from here. I'm going to show you the, the rest of the road all the way down. Here you can see, broke off a sliver of this. So this is massive sulfides. And as you can see, breaking it open a bit more, see the quartz there with your sulfides. Pyrite and calcopyrite. So we have a lens of sulfides and it's at least a meter or two wide if you take the contact right there and take up there incompletely exposed but you have mineralization similar to this going down the rest of the logging road and in between you have it in fractures it's disseminated so let's go have a look so that's the first area over here from there to there you have mineralization you have more identical right here there's sulfides you have a little bit more of your barren silicus rock like we saw over there and then you get into some mineralization see all this area of heavy oxidation you got disseminated pyrite and again see here you have a nice lens here of massive sulfides this is about 30 centimeters wide. More of your disseminated mineral. Again, see right there, a narrow lens with your sulfides. And this is the fourth area here. You can see the darker rock here. You have another small lens very warped cutting through here almost doing a uh, 90 degree turn 
And I just hammered this. Here's a sample of that. Down a, another 10 meters and you can see along in here you have another narrow sulfide lens here that's about 5 to 10 centimeters wide. All this rock here has disseminated sulfides like this and little veinlets you see cutting through all these areas here. And you see more there in that fracture, more here, just narrow ones there. And here's another area from about here to here where you have more sulfides, about a meter wide of semi-massive sulfides. This is my second time walking this road and so far two of these are new ones that I've seen since last time I was here. Another one right here it looks like. So another area here, I just hammered a couple pieces, randomly pulled out of the bank and you see the little veinlets there of pyrite. Here we go. This is another one here and this one is about 30 centimeters running this way. Very, very deformed. So here we have vein number seven. This one looks very, very sheared and deformed, but you got sulfides in all this little area here. And you got a bit more here. This might be faulted off from that. So you can see here too. Another one, sulfides all in this fracture here. You see that in here. This is about 10 centimeters wide. See here, another area that is about 20 centimeters wide with disseminated sulfides, heavily disseminated sulfides, and then on the outside layer you have this band of massive sulfides with pyrite and calcopyrite. That's a couple centimeters width. And that continues all the way up here. So those are all throughout this outcrop. Got another one there. And another area here, down there, which is also cross cut by a vein going this way, underneath, underneath this pile of logs. Both of these sulfide lenses are about 10 to 20 centimeters. Right in here. See the sulfides 
And here's a good example of your typical host rock here. You can see chert. And your silicus rock, you can see disseminated finely. You have pyrite and calcopyrite. And more of your typical host rock here. You got coarse pyrite. Look at all the chunks of pyrite in there. And that is all throughout. So you have another deformed lens running up this way here and you can see it exposed in multiple different areas. This is more to the outside where you have disseminated and small stringers here. Let's take a look at some of this up close. See this area here, your silicus rock again with sulfides. There's quite a bit disseminated in this area here. See this one down here running through there. It's actually kind of woven in in a couple areas here. Going up that way as well. This one is a good 10 to 60 centimeters wide. This is some of the surrounding bedrock. They're disseminated sulfides. You can see here chunks coming out of the bank of massive sulfides. Let's hammer one of those open. You can see the massive sulfides right on the outside there. So that last one is actually expanded. If you take a look where I was initially right there, you can sort of see the contact in the bedrock. That upper side, the top meter is mineralized and that continues down here and you can see the dip of the bedrock follows it underneath and you have a one meter plus wide area of sulfides and you have smaller little ones it looks like sort of on the outside edge of that and all this has disseminated pyrite minor calcopyrite you have a couple smaller little lenses here Cutting through right here. Across here. And the last one we found on this road, which was actually the first one last time I was here, is this. And you can see the massive sulfides in this area here. You're looking at about a 20 to 40 centimeter wide area with semi to massive iron sulfides.
So that's the new road showing the Tamahee property. We just walked 400 meters and I showed you multiple different areas that are mineralized. We have, by my counting, about 12 highly mineralized areas that are of significant enough size. But this entire zone is definitely worth pursuing and we will. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next area.